Hi everybody, we're back for another week of uh, of recipes. Uh, hi Nella. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi Carlo. How are you? <laughs> hi Mary. Good. <laughs> Just in case you hear something in the background, Carlo's dog yeah. Diesel is running around. Yeah, you better not call him. He's gonna come. <laughs> so a little bit of excitement today. Yeah. All right. So as as you can see, or maybe you can't see, Carlo, what are we going to? Uh, make? We're gonna make uh, stuff uh, lasagna roll. Um, so lasagna, lasagna roll ups. Roll, yeah, roll ups. Yeah. Okay. So we have fresh spinach. You can use uh, fresh spinach, or you can use frozen spinach. It's all up to you. Um, onions with garlic uh, we have. Oh, so this, I, I see that you've already prepared it. Yeah, we already cooked it in the frying pan with olive oil and garlic and onions. So basically oh. it's just a saute. Yeah, that's it. Okay. We have uh, Romano cheese, we have two eggs, we have a little bit of chili flake, we have uh, ricotta, salt and pepper like usual, the lasagna, the tomato sauce we already made. And we, I just have a little bit of breadcrumbs just in case the um, yeah, we caught that sometimes it's too liquidy or too thick. Yeah, too liquidy, then we just put a little bit of breadcrumbs. Okay. Uh, if you buy fresh uh, spinach, make sure that you wash them good because there's a lot of sand. Sometimes you take, you just rinse them, and most of them, you know, do not. Uh, there's a lot of sand. You'll see them. You have to let them soak, and then when you two, three times, and at the end, you'll see you're gonna have some sand uh, on it. So okay. we're gonna take them out and chop them. And we'll show you how, uh, how do we do the mixture. So, okay. All right. So we have spinach. Right. We took them out. We washed them pretty good. Uh, we rinsed them four or five times. We took out the, the big stem, and uh, now we just want to dry them up. Okay. We we'll take off the excess water. If you, if you have a, a salad spinner, yeah, you can also good. use that. Yeah. Right. Because okay. so. we don't want extra liquid. Yeah, we don't want extra liquid in, in the uh, in the final product. Yeah. And again, you can also use um, frozen spinach. Yeah, if you use the frozen spinach, uh, what I can tell you is that when you do the onion and the garlic, put the frozen spinach inside or defrost it the night before. Yeah. And then you uh, you soak them with the onions, yeah. salt, pepper, and then you, uh, you know, cool them off because you can't put them hot in, uh, in your ricotta. Yeah. Okay. All right, so this is it. We're going to chop it up. Some people let it boil uh, or a little bit of... Uh, Inside the hot water, boiling water. Uh, but this cooks very. I mean. Well, yeah, this cooks very fast. Fast. Because this, what you see here, is probably a quarter of it. You know. So the little bell you hear is our little friend walking around. So the little around. dog walking around, and if you hear banging, it's my knife. <laughs> All right. So get yourself a large, a, large a big bowl. bowl. Big bowl right. Yeah. So we're gonna be mixing. So what are we mixing? So now we're putting the onions that we fried yeah. with the garlic. Yeah. So make sure they come at, uh, at room temperature, right? Yeah. We'll put the, uh, the two eggs in. Yeah. Okay, we'll put the parmigiana cheese. Or the romano cheese, sorry. It could be both, doesn't matter which one it is. That's about half a cup. Half a cup. And then we'll put the chili, the chili. Yeah. And then we'll put the ricotta. Now the ricotta, but you can also do if you find that it's it's uh, liquidy. You can drain it. You can drain it, right? The the night before. Yeah. We're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. This is pepper. And there is salt. The spinach has no taste, so you know, like uh, we'll put a little bit more extra salt. It's a bit bland. Yeah. So then you check, you check the texture, and if uh, you see you find it's too liquidy. What's what's uh, the texture we're looking for? Well, you, you something firm because you know what? Don't forget we have the eggs, so the eggs gonna firm up when they're hot. Yeah. I, I would put a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs, just a bit. Yeah. So as you see that the the mixture the is mixture, more together. Right. It's, it's more together, so okay. we'll let it rest because it's going to absorb the, uh, and then we'll show you how to With the breadcrumbs, you mean it's going to absorb the It's going to absorb the, the, the liquid. liquid. Yeah, then yes. we'll see before we, 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 okay. we fix it up. Okay, perfect. All right, so this is done, that's done. So we're going to cook the pasta. So don't forget, always salt your water. A lot of people, they do this much, which is nothing. 
you gotta put a nice hand full because there's a lot of water. So when there's a lot of water, you need some salt. And we'll cook the pasta. We'll cook the pasta. As you see, they're small. You, you can buy the uh, you know thicker ones. Here you are. It's about 12 minutes, but you don't want them overcooked. Because overcooked, then uh, they, they're gonna break. So you give it a, before you stir, you give it a chance that you know the, the pasta gets a little bit soft. So the pasta should be ready, so we're gonna take it out now. The pasta noodles have been cooked yeah. to al dente, pardon? Yes, uh, not, no, the lasagna, that's so you have to roll it. So if it's al dente, if it cracks, that means. So a little bit more than that. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay. And what we do is we dry it up, we just put it straight. Now I'm not sure if you could notice, but this particular pasta has ridges yeah. on the inside. So, so that will, again, that also holds the filling together. Yes, and it's even a nice look too when you yeah. eat it, you know. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a nice, it will give a nice presentation. Now, the other thing we were discussing uh, off, off camera is that you never rinse your pasta noodles under no. water. No, it's like it's cold water, you put it inside and you let it sit. If, if you have a lot of pasta and it's too hot, then you know just take out a bit of water and re-add cold water. But, but we're not rinsing we're not rinsing the pasta. Right, because then you lose the starch, yeah, right? You lose the starch. And that's what sticks. And yes, that's what sticks. And it also gives you I'm just gonna show you it also gives you flavor, right? Yeah, Carol? sure. Yeah. I'm just gonna show you this half, half. I could just get another half and just put it over it. Right. You know, if, okay. you, if you don't want to lose all the pasta. I tried to dry them out. So I this have, is a I clean... A, yeah, this is a clean white uh, cloth. So we're just drying them yeah. off, basically. Yeah. Especially that they are lined, so you always have water inside there, which you don't want. You want the mixture there. So our pasta noodles have been... Uh, Dry, cook and dry. Okay. All right, they're ready, they're ready to roll. We're ready to roll. We're ready to roll. We're ready to roll. Okay, so we're rolling. There's two ways. If you don't have a pastry bag home, yeah. you could buy this from any store. They have it, especially uh, you when you have spoons. So you just take a spoon and you know, you, and, you, and it, it takes time. So you, you have to put, you know, around it. And you know, you go like this. Don't put too much at the end because when you roll it, it's, it's gonna it's gonna come out. So at the end, you try to leave it as less as possible. So you're leaving you're leaving about yeah an inch an inch and a half from the end, from the and end. you're just layering in the middle. Yes. Right. You try to in the middle. It's easier with this. So right? you, you put it in your bag. So this is just a regular just pastry. a pastry bag, yeah. Okay. And you put your filling inside. Put your filling inside. And then you just go like this. Oh, that's okay. Now the hole is a little bit bigger, so I should have, I should have. It doesn't matter sometimes if you don't have, because when you roll it, it's too much. So you'll so notice. So like this one here is too much. I have to cut some out later. You'll notice that there's no, there's no tip in your bag. No, it's no just tip. you cut off an opening. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. So we'll put the sauce in at the bottom. So we made. Okay, so, so you need just a little layer yeah, just bottom. to cover the bottom. And then you just take them and you put them on the side of you. You roll them up. You see when you push, this comes pushes out. So you don't want to, at the end, you want to put anything. And this just gives it a different presentation than the regular lasagna. Yeah, and squares. You, and you, you, you put two of them in a plate and a little bit of sauce on top, a piece of basil, and, and you're done. So as you can see, the roll-ups are in the pan. That's right. And we put a layer of sauce at the bottom. The bottom. And now we're going to put a layer of sauce on top. On top yeah. Right. So how much is, is it, how much sauce do we put? Well, you need sauce because the pasta is going to absorb the... Uh, I would say uh, nice, it's gonna be nice and covered, and, okay. it, and if it's possible for you to shape the, the pan, the pan sometimes the mousse or the sauce goes in between. 
And don't forget, when you cover it and you put it in the oven, it's going to give you that steam. So you might have that little extra water that you need. So I think that's it. We have parmigiana, I mean, whatever amount of parmigiana cheese, but what you're going to do is going to put it after. At the end when it comes out? Yeah. Along with some... With some parsley or basil, fresh basil. If you uh, could find the fresh basil. Yes. <laughs> well, what I'm going to give another trick. Uh, if you put aluminum paper on top, with the tomato sauce is too acidy, sometimes it, it eats up on your aluminum paper. So... What it's I, like the black yeah. spots? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, and you might have it on, on the pasta. Yeah. So there's two choices. You could put the saran wrap and a little bit of paper. If you want to see it, it's gonna, it's gonna, no, I won't, I won't burn the saran wrap. Or you put a parchment paper on top yeah. and a little bit of paper. Yeah. You could do that. Right now I have both. If you want to see what happens with the aluminum with the plastic, I'm gonna show you. Right. Okay. So what, what we'll do is we put this on top, tight, and we bring it inside as much as we can inside here under the cover, under here. And right under. And we try to bring it as much as as much as we can on top. Like just at the edge of the uh, see, like this. Do this, put it on top, same thing, over. And we'll put it in the oven for about 25 minutes. The oven has to be preheated. And that's it. So we're we're putting it in an oven at at uh, 400. 400? Yeah. Okay. But so, like I said, your oven are all the same, so we have to check. It'll be 425 for you, it'll be 375, and all the time. So at least a good a good. 25, hour. because everything is cooked. The right. right. ricotta is cooked, the spinach is like, you know, it takes two seconds to cook. The only thing that you have there that's raw is the eggs, which, which once it's hot, will really be cooked. Okay, so we'll show you what the final product looks yeah. like. So as, as Carlo showed you, with the saran and with yeah. the aluminum, it really doesn't affect... It doesn't affect the tomatoes. Right. Um, and if you notice too, is that the, the, the pasta absorbs all the water, so which is pretty thick. So you could always have some sauce on the side when you reserve in your plate. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put a little bit of mozzarella over it. And the heat is just gonna... And the heat is just gonna, you know... Gonna melt it. Gonna melt it. And then just a little bit of Romano cheese on top. Just because we love our cheese. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you serve it, just a little bit of um, extra sauce. <clears throat> extra sauce and uh, some parsley <clears throat> decorate. So. Now, if I wanted to freeze this as is, <clears throat> like if I allow it to cool down and freeze. Well, no, what I would do, I would do something else. I, I would do the roll up, <clears throat> put them in a, in a pan straight, like individually. Yeah. Uh, freeze them the, the, all, all night. And then after I put them in a plastic bag or in a Ziploc. Yeah. And when you need them, just take them out. You need 10, you need 15, you take out, you, you fill up your plate and you just put the sauce on top. Sauce, whatever. Okay. Fro it's frozen. Okay, that makes sense. No, you're not gonna, you don't want to freeze with the sauce because the sauce gives you a lot of water after. Lasagna roll-ups. Uh, thank you very much, Carlo. You're welcome. We'll see you again next week, guys.